Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn Class 8, Chapter 3, Understanding Quadrilaterals, Exercise 3.1. See now question number 1. Observe the given figures. Now we have to classify each of them on the basis of the following. First they have given simple curve. If you observe the given figures, first one, second, fifth, sixth and seventh one are having simple curves. Next, simple closed curves. The figures 1, 2, 5, 6 and 7 are having simple closed curves. Next, the third one is polygon. We observe polygons only in the figure 1 and 2. Next, the fourth one, convex polygon. We observe convex polygon only in the figure 2. Next, concave polygon. We observe concave polygon only in the figure 2. 1. See now question number 2. How many diagonals does each of the following have? First one question number A. A convex quadrilateral. A convex quadrilateral has only two diagonals. See now second one. A regular hexagon. A regular hexagon has nine diagonals. See now C. A triangle. A triangle has no Diagonal, so we represent here 0. If we observe in the figures, we can see that a convex quadrilateral has 2 diagonals and a regular hexagon has 9 diagonals and triangle has no diagonals. See now question number 3. What is the sum of the measures of the angles of a convex quadrilateral? Will this property hold if the quadrilateral is not convex? Let us see the solution. Let A, B, C, D be a convex quadrilateral. From the figure we infer that the quadrilateral A, B, C, D is formed by two triangles. That is triangle A, B, C and triangle A, B, C. Since we know that sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, the sum of the measures of both the triangles is 180 degrees plus 180 degrees that is 360 degrees. Let us take another quadrilateral ABCD which is not convex. Now we shall join B and C such that it divides ABCD quadrilateral into two triangles that is triangle ABC and triangle BCD. In triangle ABC Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 that equals to 180 degrees by angle sum property. See now in triangle BCD angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 that equals to 180 degrees by angle sum property of triangle. Therefore angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 next angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 that equals to 180 degrees plus 180 degrees. That implies all these angles together that is 360 degrees. Here angle 1 means angle A, angle 6 means angle D, angle 2 plus 5 that is angle 2 plus 5 that is angle B, angle 3 plus angle 4 that is angle C. Therefore angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D that equals to 360 degrees. Thus this property holds only if the quadrilateral is not convex. See now question number 4. Examine the table. Each figure is divided into triangles and the sum of the angles deduced from that. What can you say about the angle sum of a convex polygon with the number of sides? A equals to 7, B, 8, C, 10 and D, N. Let us see the solution. The angle sum of a polygon having side n that equals to n minus 2 into 180. See first question number a they are given as 7. So here n value is 7. So angle sum is 7 minus 2 into 180. 7 minus 2 that is 5 into 180. So 185 is 900. See now question number b they have given n value as 8. Now angle sum is 8 minus 2 into 180. 8 minus 2 that is 6 into 180. So 186 is 1080 degrees. See now question number C. Here n value is equal to 10. Then angle sum equals to 10 minus 2 into 180. 
10 minus 2 that is 8. So, 8 into 180 that is 1440. Next, so question number D, they have given n value as n only. Then, angle sum of the polygon that equals to n minus 2 into 180. See now, question number 5. What is a regular polygon? State the name of a regular polygon of 3 sides, 4 sides and 6 sides. Let us see the solution. Regular polygon. A polygon having sides of equal length and angles of equal measures is called regular polygon. See the first one. A regular polygon of three sides is called equilateral triangle. Second one, a regular polygon of four sides is called square. See third one, a regular polygon of six sides is called regular hexagon. Today we have seen class 8 chapter 3 exercise 3.1 1 to 5 sums. In our next video we shall see remaining sums of this exercise Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.